Welcome back. Now, art galleries may have had to close their doors, but there is still a place for the art they show to lift the spirits of people on lockdown. And as people are trying to keep the boredom at bay, many have been turning to the masterpieces and the contents of their own homes for inspiration. Sky's Becky Williams reports now on the art created in isolation. Right, hat. No, that way around. <laughs> No, Recreating know. artwork from items oh, yeah. you've got at home. Gun, Gun. or hoover. It's all part of a new quarantine art challenge. Oh, and the dog. This work, a remodelling of Thomas Gainsborough's masterpiece. <laughs> Anne Herring was one of those who decided to get her entire family involved, taking inspiration from oh, Vincent van Gogh. It's an incredibly anxious time, so I thought this would take our minds off it. And um, so we all, in our respective homes, spent the day <laughs> recreating art. And my family have an amazing sense of humour. We all go to exhibitions and uh, it gives us a huge amount of pleasure. So doing this was also a huge amount of fun. Hi, my name is Arjan van Nieuwkoop and I'm a Dutch photographer. The idea is thought to have originated in the Netherlands, but it's now gone worldwide. The Getty Museum in California have even got involved, with galleries around the world praising the idea. We're just in awe of everyone's creativity and great sense of humour and how much people have been supporting each other with their wonderful creations. We've seen Cezanne, Van Gogh, Dali, Vermeer, uh, Rembrandt and so many others um, from inspired by paintings and sculptures from collections around the whole world. Some of the efforts seen on social media show skill, creativity and so much initiative. So I thought it only fair to give the challenge a go myself. It might be a laugh for many, but with galleries closed, it's definitely helping to keep the love of art alive. Rebecca Williams, Sky News. Not bad. Um, let's 